Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. All right, we're starting part two of the Link Dipole Project. We've got KY4CKP. Chris, what have we done so far this morning to get started? Well, we've got our pole set back up so we have our consistent platform. We've got our first link in place. We've measured the next distance from the center point so that we can go out and get to 20 meters this time. Did 10 yesterday. So we're going to go to the next link, which is 20. We'll just keep working our way out towards 80 meters. So we just got some temporary... Uh, line on here so we can get everything off the ground right and check the swr so we're going to put our pole back up to its proper height yeah and then uh, test it out and see what our swr is do a little bit of fine tuning put in the next set of links all righty so we're measuring once again we just made our first cut we were down below the band at 13.3 How are we looking now, AC4DM? Right, 1.6 at 13.5. 13, 13, so we uh, we definitely came up some, so we need to uh, trim a little more. All right, so now what we're doing is we're hooking up a couple of our Anderson power poles. Uh, and uh, Describe what he's doing there, Chris. We've uh, already crimped on the metal connector and insert for the power pole. Now we're just uh, slipping that into the plastic housing. Make sure we get our snap as they snap all the way in. Small screwdriver can help with that, especially on a cold day like today. And this wire is small, a little bit softer. Small flexible wire you can't push it in. But they get kind of hard, hard to do. I heard a click. All righty, and then we can connect it to the Anderson on that's already been put on. So we're just going to connect the two, and then we'll just make sure we have enough enough to play with there. We'll yeah. uh, put some zips on that, and the zip ties prevent it from moving, and gives you plenty of slack, but makes it uh, so there's no tension on the wire on the Anderson portions. Now we've got a handy dandy zip cutter tool that tightens it good and tight. It doesn't leave a nasty edge to scratch or cut you. And Bob's your uncle. Or Don Jer Elmer. Okay. We gotta start saying Don Jer Elmer. Alrighty, we'll Very come good. back after we get the other ones put together and we'll be testing for a new SWR. Alrighty, well, we have finally got all our links together, and we've got uh, 80, 40, 20, and 10, and right now, we've got it strung up, we've got it pegged out, just like you would the typical soda bean, and uh, Chris, what are we seeing here? Uh, well, we're doing pretty good. We are uh, about 2 to two to 1 at 3.67, so that's a good chunk of the lower part of the band for right. uh, advanced or extra class here in the US and then go ahead and use the little jog wheel there on the nano VNA and let's go down to uh, what was it 386 where we were down to about 1.3 I think it was yeah let's see let's so now we're down pretty close to the bottom. We're at 3836 on 80 meters. And what are we looking at there, Chris? 1.18. 1.18. Ah, we need to take it down and fine tune it some more? Yeah, I think we're going to have to mess with that another three or four hours. Yeah, yeah, at least three or four hours. Okay, now let's go to the other side of the band a little bit, Chris. The upper side of the band for generals. And let's see where we are. It's pretty flat over there on the right-hand side. Yeah. And you can see here at four, goodness, uh, one five three, Chris. Three, yeah. I, is that even usable? 
know. I guess we'll have to live with that. I. It is what it is. All right, so that was 80 meters here utilizing the Nano VNA. And again, for full transparency, we already tested this with the MFJ as we were doing our field tests, but we wanted to get the uh, Nano VNA out to show you basically the same numbers. So let's set it up for 40 meters and let's see what we get. All right, Christopher, now what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at uh, 40 meters now. We've got it uh, showing the scale 7125 to 7300. So uh, here in the U.S., uh, extra advanced all the way up to uh, general. And we're all the way down uh, with 7125 or 6. And uh, we've only got, what, 1.25? Yeah, it's tiny over there on the 7125. You can see how flat that band is, and we can you know, bring it towards the middle. 1.21. Wow. And if we go out to the top there, 1.42 angle it down just a smidgen there you go that's amazing that's so great numbers very, very flat all the way across rice on 40 meters everything's usable all righty let's check 20 meters next all right chris now we're set to 20 meters what's the vna showing us now well it's showing incredibly flat uh we were kind of surprised we have double checked this with the mfj it's pretty similar numbers uh, everywhere from what 14.4 to even down to 1400. Right. 14, we are 000, yeah. uh, between about one two three and going up to around one three two. Right. So uh, very flat across the uh, the usual part of the two meter band here in the U.S. Anyway. Well, I'm pleased with that. That's great. I mean, uh, no tuner required for this band either. No, certainly not. It's, it's doing great so far on all the uh, all the bands we check. We're going to go and check. Uh, 10 meters. 10 meters is the last one here with the Nano VNA. We'll be right back. All right, Chris, for our last Nano VNA check here on 10 meters, what are we seeing now? Well, we're still seeing a pretty flat curve. Um, goes up a little bit on the, um, the high part of the band, as you can see right here. Still below 2 to 1, all the way at the top, 29.7. And uh, if we bring that down just a little bit, maybe midway. Comes down, we're... Uh, what one five seven one six, one, six seven. seven and that's at uh twenty eight five something twenty eight five sixty okay twenty eight nine what are we looking at there chris i'm not looking at the right number twenty eight twenty nine seven is there oh yeah twenty eight nine eight something twenty eight and then if we go to the far left which is down around twenty eight three at twenty eight three we're at one point three three yep so, no tuner required for the full length here, according to the Nano VNA. So, again, based on what we saw in the MFJ, this is pretty close. It might be off point one or two, but I think we're pretty close. And the good thing is, is no tuner is required regardless. Yeah. Took a lot of time and a lot of fine tuning at each band segment, but it looks like we've done a pretty fair job. I think so, too. And uh, with the uh, generous help of his time and efforts, and we had to fabricate, uh, fabricate some fabricate some pieces i'll get it out in a minute uh, with ac4dm's help we've been able to put this together in a couple of days so let's uh let's go ahead and do our final segment to wrap up and uh, we'll be right back well i think the three of us have put together a linked dipole i think so it's a, a nice kit uh you can make all these components yourself if you want to buy the kit from somebody like soda beams Gives you a leg up on some of the manual labor components, but we did fabricate one piece, right? Uh, which was easy to do. One of the little uh, uh, sort of insulating uh, standoffs, for right. one of the links. A um, couple of days taking your time and learning a few things along the way, but it uh, turned out really well. Right. And Don, uh, what was some of the equipment we used today to fabricate that one piece? Well, that one piece we used a uh, piece of bakelite we had and uh, a little. Uh, uh, a band saw, we cut it into pieces we needed, and a drill press. And, and a drill press. It. That's all it took. Yeah. It, it never hurts to have somebody like a Don, an, an Elmer in your club, that has accumulated tools over a lifetime. And uh, when you're missing something or if you need something extra, uh, to actually fabricate those pieces on premises. That's that was just a, that was a lot of fun today. I, I can't uh, can't express how how much uh, fun I had with that. And. You know, taking a known good unit, I already had a soda beans that we've featured on a couple of videos, Chris, and uh, it works really well. It's very sensitive because it's half wave. Uh, to build one similar to it, but not exactly like it, we used Anderson power poles for the links instead of the clips. Uh, we used heavier gauge wire, but still very easily manageable wire. 
but we did we created the toroid. We created the we had to solder some things. Had to put an SMA connector on there with Don's help. But we did uh, 10, 20, 40, and 80 meters because right. we thought those would be a little more usable. Uh, the actual soda beam itself comes from um, 20, 30, 40, and 80. I, uh, yes, yes, 20, 30, 40. So if you want 30, you can certainly put that that in there. If you wanted 15 or 17 or any other band, uh, you can calculate and, and come up with those links. We just did 10, 20, 40, and 80. Exactly. And uh, just to give you guys a heads up, this will be, is this the antenna we're going to give away? Yeah, this will be a giveaway. This is going to be an antenna we're going to give away. It'll probably, we're in uh, February right now, so... And it was cold today, wasn't it, Don? Yes, it was. Uh, it, it was cold today, uh, but it's February. We're probably looking to give this antenna away probably in March, somewhere in that time frame. Don't hold us to that, but that's kind of what we're looking at. And uh, what was I going to go with this? Oh, we're going to uh, utilize this antenna, uh, antenna to activate a park at our Cave City Ham Fest. So uh, March the 7th, I think it is, AC40M. Um, yes, March the 7th is going to be our Cave City Ham Fest here in Kentucky, and we're going to do a parks uh, activation POTA. Uh, on that same day, and we're going to use this antenna to do that activation. Yeah. So we'll uh, put it to use, and we'll record some of that, uh, of course, and uh, and then we'll be giving it away. Absolutely. I had a great time. This was a lot of fun. It does take a little bit of time, but uh, what this has really showed the three of us, not Chris and I more than Don, because he's done this before, but uh, uh, is you, you can do this yourself. Just you take can. your time have a consistent testing ability, right. and you can get good results. Good results. For the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, I'm KY4BDP Brian. I'm Chris, KY4CKP. And I'm Don, AC4DM. 73. 73, that one. <laughs>